what's up guys nick here with a i guess a video challenge or something like that i was challenged by roshank redemption to name my six favorite pokemon one per generation and tell y'all about it and actually tag other people in it so just continue like a chain of events so uh if <clears throat> if my voice starts messing up it's a little screwed up anyway from Generation 1, I'm going to choose uh, Dragonite. By far my favorite Pokemon. Some people, like Bud, will probably say it's, pro it's supposed to be like Eevee or something. It's not really Eevee, to tell you the truth. I like using Eevee. I like using his Eeveelutions, but they're not like the best. But with Dragonite, he is by far my favorite one. He was the first Dragon-type I ever caught. When I caught, Dratini was the first one I ever caught. Actually, uh, I got it from the the uh the coin place in Celadon City and I would train train one up as high as I could make it the strongest Pokemon possible. Now it may not have been my strongest one to begin with. It was probably my third or fourth playthrough until I got a Dragonite. But he helped me out in a lot of situations where I could actually like defeat everyone that was in my path using <clears throat> all the the only few dragon moves he can actually learn and then using thunderbolt at one time and f i think he can learn fly i'm not sure maybe not but yeah dragonite definitely my favorite gen one <clears throat> for gen two any of y'all have seen any of the let's plays on pokemon try this one should be a uh, obvious choice and pharos and pharos is by far my favorite gen two pokemon and i've used and for us, every time that Pokemon would show up, meaning getting a Mareep, train it up, and use it. I would, every time, because it's probably my favorite electric type Pokemon. It it can learn Thunder Punch as soon as, as not as soon as, but once it evolves into an Ampharos. It has a very good stats, I, I suppose, you know. Not as good as, say, Raichu or Zapdos. I mean, I'm not going to choose any legendary Pokemon in this list either way. But, yeah, I just I just love Inferos to death. It's, pro it's one of my favorite Pokemon. I always call it either Ampy for a girl or Amp for a boy. I've had I've named it Sheepy before. But it's, it's a fun Pokemon. If you ever play any of the Gen 1 games or any of the later Gens that have it in there, definitely catch it. You'll see, how, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. As for Gen 3, I'm going to choose the one Pokemon that caught my eye whenever I went to a battle. I didn't have them at the time. But my next one for Gen, my favorite for Gen three is Salamence. I love Salamence. It it pushed up the Dragon thing for me, and I'm like, you know, Dragonite was still in the game. I still use them, but Salamence pushed the bar up. Yes, he had a low defense and all that stuff, but he had a good Dragon attacks. I, I love Dragon Pokemon. I just have to say, I love Dragon Pokemon. But Salamence pushed even higher for me. I think uh, Gen 3, I actually made a Dragon team. He was the head of that team. Dragonite was right after. So, if you have to use any kind of Dragons, definitely go for him and Dragonite. Salamence, he can use he can use all the Dragon moves. I, I believe Dragon Claw began in... It was either in Gen 3 or Gen 4. I, w I didn't pay much attention to Gen 4. But, yeah, anyway. Salamence, definitely my favorite of Gen 3. Gen 4, this not might this may not be a popular vote. A lot of people might be like, that's a that's overused Pokemon. I'm not gonna I'm actually not gonna say Lucaria. I'm gonna go for Riolu. Because I had more fun using Riolu than Lucario because in Gen was it three? No, it was X and Y, so six. I would catch Riolu early. No, actually it was Gen 5. Gen 5 I caught him early. And six. But I would have catch Riolu early and train him up. In Gen 4, I did I don't believe I ever got him. It wasn't until then. But I believe he is in Gen 4. He can learn early attack early fighting attacks like Force Palm and he kn he knows other things like that. But he's my favorite overall because I looked at the list of Gen 4, I'm like, Riolu's the only one that sticks out to me that I remember using. So you know, Riolu is definitely a good choice if you ever had a chance uh, to play any Gen 4 games. You know, they might even make do remakes for it. But 
I enjoyed use I enjoy using Rio Lu, you know, up until he evolves. I always let him evolve because once he becomes Lucario, he gets that uh, extra strength and you know mega evolutions in Gen Six. So definitely my favorite of Gen Four. Now for Gen Five, um, I had to look at another list because I had to look at all the lists for all for four, five, and six because four and five didn't stick out to me much. I only played Black 2. I didn't play Black 1. But Gen 5 is going to be Axew. Now, why wouldn't I choose to, his final evolution? Which, uh, I can't even pronounce the name half the time. Because Axew, I used a lot more. You know, once he evolved, I'm like, okay, now what? Because he evolves at, like, a late, late period. He can use Double Chop. He can use Dragon Moves, you know. I've, this is my third Dragon Pokemon. I promise. This is the last one. But, Axew, yeah, definitely a good one. Uh, I actually used him in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Which one was it? It wasn't the last one. It was uh, Gates of Infinity. I used him. I stomped everybody. Now, I don't know if, if this list I'm supposed to name, you know, tell my experiences with it, but Axew is one of those Pokemon that I'm like, he looks cool. He's a dragon. You know, he does evolve into a good... Uh, Pokemon at the end, but you know I'm not going to choose the last one because I didn't have much experience with it, because I would get to that point, finish off the game, and then... So, Gen 5 is going to be Axew. And for the final generation that's recently out, like what, two years ago, I believe, is Delphox, which don't know if that's how you pronounce his name or not, that's how I'm saying it. It is the final evolution to Finnegan. This Pokemon made a real good impression on me. I would, you know, go through all this. I did not expect it to turn into that. Now, I know that the second one actually did have a little bit of psychic moves. But then Delphox gets, comes in, and then it's like, oh my god. I love psychic Pokemon. And, yeah, I didn't name any psychic Pokemon, but I do like psychic Pokemon. I do like fire types. Certain fire types, like Growlithe and all them. But Delphox combined it together, and awesome. I swear, one of the most awesome, like, fire-type Pokemon I've ever had. Now, some people, you know, might be like, well, what about uh, Charizard or any of the legendaries? Like I said, I'm not naming legendaries. That's just a cop-out. You know, putting a legendary in each of them is just like, okay. I mean, yeah, you can catch them, but what's the point of putting them there? But Delphox is definitely my favorite of Gen 6. Now the final thing I'm supposed, well not the final thing, the second thing I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to name off my favorite, the one thing I'm looking forward to Gen 7, which might be coming out, or might be announced. My thing for Gen 7 is, there's several things, I'll just name them all. One, I would like a couple more evolutions. There's two that I would actually like to happen, which is a fighting type and a rock type. Now, with the evolution fighting type, I would just think it's funny is it evolves, gets up on his hind legs, and now has muscles, and use fighting type moves. Like, as soon as it evolves, it gets a fighting type move. And you have to, let's say, you have to use a uh, hard stone, which I don't even know if that's a real thing or not. But you, it has to be some kind of ridiculous way for it to evolve into that. And for and it would be cool had a ghost type one too, but to be a rock type, maybe you need a king's rock to trade it you know make it different not just use a stone or beer near this but get a king's rock trade it to someone else it evolves basically becomes like a like a stone like stone looking taller eevee you know but uh another thing i'd love to have in seven is you know let's make different kind of, a different kind of starters you know, we always go with fire, water, grass. Let's choose something different. Let's let's go with uh, ghost, psychic, and dark, because they can defeat one another. You know, psychic is supposed to defeat uh, what you call it, ghost. Some people say it's otherwise. Dark's supposed to be psychic. Ghost is supposed to be. Uh, it's, I don't actually. I think dark beats both of them. But, you know, I want a different kind of starter. I don't want to always choose a fire, water, and grass. You know, Gen Gen 6, we had to choose we had to choose one of those, but then you get another choice from getting the original Gen Pokemon. But, yeah. As for the people that I'm going to choose for this, um, 
I have to choose my Pokemon Tribe brother, Bud, which, you know, you don't have to do this. It's it's telling me to name three different people. Bud, you're going to be number one because, you know, you're my Pokemon Tribe brother. And I want to know, actually, what your favorite gens are. Now, you can do the same thing I'm doing. Just talk to the camera, whatever. Do little descriptions, not 10 minutes, 30 minutes of talking. Um, second choice can be Awesome Gen because... You know, why not? I'm a moderator in her stream. I want people to, you know, know her channel, see her channel. This is also a good opportunity to get her name out there as a Pokemon fan, other than just playing Pokemon games. So, and the last person, I don't really have a third person, so I'm going to name someone I know who's doing a, uh, either a Pokemon live stream or a Let's Play or something like that, and that is Link the Informer. Now, he and I just met recently. I do know he plays you know, pre-sequel and all that stuff. I know he does play Pokemon games. So, dude, you name your favorite Pokemon for each gen and all that. So, I'll put the links below. I don't, you know, I don't have a picture up here like I did with all the others. With all the Pokemon. Because I don't, I don't know, I get it. I don't want to steal their picture and blow it up. But, yeah, just go to the link below. See their channel. I mean, just view their channels. Maybe they don't do a video of this. It doesn't bother me if they do or not. So, thank you all for watching this video. Hope the chain continues. I would love to see the three people I named do a video of this. And like I said, you don't have to make an extravagant video like Roshank Redemption did, where he had the pictures and the gameplay footage and all that stuff. I don't do... I don't... I can't do that. You know, I don't... I don't want to sit here and have to deal with, like, a three-hour video, uh, video editing and just, you know, I just add the pictures. So, thank you all for watching this video. Catch you next time.